What's up, everybody? I'm Ray Holiday, and this is Level Up Your Legacy, the show that solidifies the legendary status of the most accomplished men with their own video game, highlighting the trials and triumphs that have gotten them this far. This time, we're chatting with Director X, the mastermind behind some of the biggest music videos from the last two decades, about his hustle as a young aspiring director, his passion for sci-fi, and what legacy means to him. Opening up in the movie theater. Star Wars, baby. Star Wars was the movie that changed. Em their life. I remember Empire Strikes Back. Really, as a little kid, like what what was that? Yeah. So I've always had a big imagine. I, I like big imagination movies. Yeah. Get my tape in as many hands as possible. It's, All right. it's real, brother. This is go. this is the hustle right here. Wow! Look wow. at this. Who owns the IP on this game? Can I actually <laughs> can I pitch this around town? A oh, Caribbean restaurant right there. That is very Toronto right there. Uh, and maple syrup. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. And pineapple pizza. This is absolutely hilarious. That's incredible. That, is. that really is incredible. So it's Director X now. So Director tell me X. about Little X. Starting out in Toronto. So, you know, start in Toronto. Yep. Get the directing bug over there. Start hustling around there, doing my best. So I got to give people my reel. Yeah. Hey, watch my reel. Watch my reel. <laughs> watch my go. reel. Watch my reel. Watch yep. my reel. This is kind of what life was like, actually. Was it? Oh, very much. Need my backpack. Showing people my reel. The hustle was real, bro. Like, the like, hustle. Uh, yes, definitely. And that's when you couldn't just say, look at my phone. Right. You had to have a tape and you had to have a machine. So how did you put your first reel together? The first thing I had was something I did in school, the final project. Back then, you couldn't, you couldn't just get on a computer and make people lip sync. Back in those days, you'd have to get two VHS tapes. Yeah and run them and you'd have to edit by pausing and unpausing one of the things. So you'd uh -huh. have one VHS and that's how you could do a basic edit. That's my product. first piece of tape. Uh. Then I go to New York, but that's the thing I have to show. That's the tape, that was the first reel I was giving people. You made the Hustlers video game. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, I didn't realize I moved to New York in the game. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. When did the decision come in to go from Toronto to New York? The first person I sent my package to was Mimi Valdez. For those who don't know, she now manages uh, Pharrell. She's yeah. his producing partner, but she was a writer at Vibe at the time, and she wrote the mm. article on Hype Williams. I sent her a package with that tape, with a t-shirt that I printed out a t-shirt of one of my designs, with a letter saying, you know, I'm 18, trying to get a hold of Hype Williams. So I finally got her one day, and she gave me the, the name, I think it was the assistant's name, and the number for the office. And then finally got to meet Hype, and you know, so I'm, I'm an intern. I was running those kinds of packages. I was picking up petty cash. I was doing whatever, I was an intern. Right. But at the same time, I was drawing, and I would show people my, again, part of it was I would show you my art. Yeah. I would show you my video. Look at no, this, look it. at this, look at this, look what no, I do. I if, you, if you're a young kid with talent, you need to show people you got talent. What would be your advice for today's Intern. Today's intern? Yeah. Man, listen, you gotta. You, you should be pursuing what you wanna do on your own at the same time you're in the office making yourself useful. You want people to look at you like, oh, we can't let this kid go. That's hype, pipes in the game. I like your persistence. You earned your shot. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's real. The hustle was real, bro. Quite the hustler. Let's talk a little bit about ambition. My first real gig was this Tracy Lee job. Oh. The one that the word says, you know, is a big disaster. The hype gave me the encouragement to keep going, but it's also where I realized I don't have the technical knowledge I need ah. for this. It's on the job training, for real. It, on the, yeah, and then I went, and that's what that thing is about with going those books and studying. Yep. Scrim that light. I had to go study, man. This is real. The scrim is something you put in front of a light to cut down the amount of light coming out of it. So I've been reading all these books. Def Jam people gave me a chance to shoot a commercial. But while we're doing, we're walking around, I look at a light and it's really bright. I go, yo, scrim that light. And, I, and then I stop, oh, whoa, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right. <laughs> it, was, right. it was the sentence that I said that made me realize that I had actually soaked up all this knowledge, all the books uh, I've been reading. So the Tracy Lee video was actually life changing. You yes, very that, much. So it's it's one of those. Sometimes your mistakes or your failures are actually a thing you need yeah. to jump you forward. Had the job gone well, hey, I'm right. doing fine. I don't. It, it, sometimes it's those things that make you realize that you're not doing it right and you have to re right. reset it. Now that Hype and I are now moving around together, right? Right. And one day we go and meet LL Cool J. Pulls up LL, LL wants to play Hype some music. Mm -hmm. So Hype and LL are on the front seat of his Range Rover. Right. I'm in the back. Got it. And the whole time that LL, as we're listening to it, LL's looking at me. <laughs> I'm the youngest one in the car. Right. So your youth has value to people. Yeah. If you're young trying to get in, 
in the hip hop world, your subculture, you're you're tapped in and they're interested in what you think. So now when you're actually on set, how real is this? Like, this is, is this a real depiction of it? Yes, I play video games while I, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, symbolically, I guess you could, you can put this together. Your leadership, your instruction, your direction is how everything flows. Right. It's not just the performances you're getting. Right. Not just the images you're constructing. Right. But the speed in which you move through the day. Mm -hmm. how, you know, there's all these factors that, that come into it. The most important part is listening to your instincts. Right. Crazy. This game is not easy. Now on this specific level, see, as, as you hit them, it goes from one to the next. It's almost like you have to get it perfect in order moving on to the next project, right? No one gets it perfect, but you definitely, yeah. you have to get more right than you get wrong. Right. A lot of walking to and back camera. So it's not just life in the chair. No, no, no. It is not easy to really make sense of what we do on set. Do you have a bullhorn on set? No, no, no bullhorn. But I'm loud. When I, my set voice, I can definitely uh, can I give you some of my set voice. And cut! Oh, okay. So how does X stay fresh on set? You're on set. You moving. You sweating. There's hot lights. But there's a difference between being dirty and being ready to get dirty. <laughs> that's that's actually how I get to red carpet. So they they I, have I, that I, down to the science. They it, do that. That's, that's how I do it. I love uh, science fiction. I love, like I told you, big imagination stuff growing up was always very exciting. So yeah. I can go all level of nerd. I can go and talk about the dilithium crystals that power your space warp all mm -hmm. the way to your physics not being correct on your light speed and travel. The very first time you saw Star Wars, that feeling you felt, is that the hope for those who see your work? Yeah, to make a movie or make a TV show that the young me would love to see. What would be your best advice for a young filmmaker? When you're first starting, it's hustle. Yeah. The number one thing of everything is professionalism. How important is mentorship to you? You don't go out looking for it. It just kind of happens. Like, Hype wasn't looking for me. Right. I showed up at his office. Man, mm -hmm. was there, willing to work hard, willing to work late. This is not a normal kind of business. Like, I joke that my film school will have call times and you'll just get a call time and a location. Yeah. There will be no building. Yeah. It'll be 6 a.m. in a parking garage yeah. and then 10 p.m. on top of a building and then 5 p.m. in a forest. Got it. Because that's filmmaking. Talking up a lot about uh, legacy and the legacy that you're leaving behind. That's not for me to talk about. Who's to say I'd even have, when it's all said and done, that anyone would look back and say, yeah, I remember the work of Director X. But what would you like them to say? Well. Yeah. He's professional. <laughs> no, you know, look, man, you want people to be tamed. You want there to be an artistic value. Right. The ultimate combination you're looking for. Art and entertainment. Yeah. That you want to make something that... What's the most important part about you being a mentor? I can give them a talk of the experience I've gone through. Dealing with clients, dealing with just the craziness of the business. Whatever problem can arise, I've been in some version of it. I can guide them through it. I can give them a chance to learn from my mistakes. I love this guy. Look at this. <laughs> he's holding on to the, the railing. And I get it. Yeah, he's G'd up. I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's some gangster thing right here. He's on the shake. What's the shake about? Uh-oh. It's not, wait, it's not. Oh, wait. shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Right. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on, come on. All right. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to think of something. Bomb, bomb. Oh. And no, a young did, lady yeah. is the hero, see? Right. Didn't see that coming, did you? Directed by Director X. Wow. That looks like exactly like my son. That's the joke. Does it? Yeah. Someday, I'm gonna make something like that. See, see how this comes full circle? That's the So fact. even the video game about my life is a whole, there's a message in there. It's not easy. This is not gonna be an easy game for no, folks. No, not at all. Can you be X at being X? Play the game and find out.